Safety and Special Members Report. I'm Hannah Graves reporting live from Studio 129 in Hampton Way Plaza. We're following a developing story that first began seven years ago when Queen Athaliah got real mad after finding out that her son Ahaziah was killed by Jehoiada. According to investigators, it was then that Athaliah first hatched a plot to have the whole royal family killed. Now as we'll find out from our special guest, this is a piece of plot. Yes, it was an evil plot that Queen Athaliah came up with. However, she could never be successful in killing the whole royal family. And that's because it was promised that Jesus would be born from this line of King David's descendants. But still, there is no doubt that Athaliah was serious about her plan. Back to you, Hannah. Thank you for that report. We're now taking you to the temple for breaking news on the discovery of the seven-year-old boy, Joe. This son of Athaliah has been missing since he was a baby. And now word is leaking out that this royal family member is apparently alive and well. Yes, Hannah. I'm here at the temple and it's truly amazing to see with the discovery that Joash has been discovered and appears to be fine. Apparently, Jehusheba, his wife of Jehoiada, the priest, has been hiding the boy in the temple. Sources tell me that, that she did this to save him from the evil Ahalai, who has been killing members of the house of Judah. And with that comes to in mind, we go to Robert, who is reporting from the cemetery, where they have seen a lot of people who have died because of the evil Ahalai. This is the Robert reporting from the gates of the graveyard. Yes, Athelia has been so mean that she has turned this graveyard into a bone factory. As a matter of fact, I have uh, some of the very bones right to here. But it's not that uh, the cemetery is not uh, that bad of a place. As a matter of fact, the people have been dying to get in here. Thanks for that report from the cemetery. No bones about it. That's very sad. We'll now send you back to the temple where a crowd has gathered and there's a lot of shouting. What's going on out there? This is really amazing word has spread out about the discovery of the future king, a seven-year-old Joe Ash. Everyone seems happy in the shouting, long live the king. Long live the king! Long live the king! Oh wait, I hear someone shouting the words treason, 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 treason! Apparently it's the evil treason. Liar, and she must want the little Joe Ash dead. Hannah, we'll send it back to you at the school. Well, thank you. We're now getting reports from Jehoiada's headquarters that he has ordered Queen Athaliah to be killed. Let's send you out there for the latest information. Yes, it looks like Athaliah's goose is about cooked. Orders have been placed by Jehoiada to have her killed. A special instructions have been issued. She is not to be killed in the temple. Also, another group of people have gone to the Baal Temple and have apparently torn it down and smashed all of the altars and idols. This turned out to be a big day. Back to you, Paula. Thanks. We just received word that Athaliah's evil days are over since she has just been killed. We'll go out to the temple one last time for a final update. We're hearing a big decision has been made. That's right. Jehoda has made a big covenant between the Lord, the king, and the people. Everyone has, agree has agreed upon it, and our new king is sitting on the throne. Oh, wait. Here he is, our new king, with a few words. That's right, my people, my citizens. Today is a special day. The day I have come to rule this wonderful land. And I proclaim that we must all celebrate with some king too. Wow, that's exciting news. Thanks for the update. Well, that's a wrap on today's news. Thanks for watching the Bible TV Network. I'm Hannah Satan.